Hi there, Mr. Galvan here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to work with two screens so that you can monitor students on one and you can do your presentation on the other. I'm gonna be using the tab resize extension as well as the mute tab extension. These extensions can be found in the Google Chrome web store. Okay, so first things first, I'm currently in a meet with a couple of fellow librarians. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a second tab I'm going to link in that tab as well. So I'm going to be in two tabs at once. Now I already have the mute tab extension downloaded. Here is trying to hang on here because it's asking a lot. Okay, I'm going to click on the mute tab. Okay, so the tab has been muted. <clears throat> Need to disable the microphone. Okay, so it's definitely in your best interest to disable the microphone in your second new tab as well as muting the tab as well. Now we want to share our screen. I'm going to come down here to the present now area. I'm going to click on present now. I'm going to go ahead and do a window. You don't want to do the whole screen. For our purposes, we want to just have one being the area where the meeting is happening and you're viewing the students and the other is dedicated just to presenting and demonstrating on screen. So you can either choose a window or a Chrome tab. I'm going to go ahead and choose a window, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and do my tab resize. So we're going to come back up here. I'm going to click on this one. This is the tab resize extension button. It's blue with these arrows. I'm going to click on that. It gives me some options on what my tabs are going to look like. I'm going to do the side by side. one. Okay, so the tab didn't come over like I thought it would. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it over manually. Not a big deal. Okay. All right, so we'll get rid of that other new one. So now we have two going on. The one on my right is now going to become my presentation one. I'm going to click on present now. <clears throat> I'm going to do your entire screen. No, not your entire screen. I said not to do that. I'm going to click a window. <laughs> and we're going to choose, let's see. Yes, we're going to choose this one. This is the one that we're wanting to do the screen share on. So you can tell because it has the dialog box open on it. So we're gonna click on share. Okay, I'm gonna change screens to, I don't know, go to the ISD websites. Okay, so now I just need to ask my, and I know I can see it too. But um, ask my participant, do you guys, what do you guys see on your screen? Do you see um, the BISD website on your screen? Yeah, it's, it's like big featured. Right in the middle, and then I see the, the people that are participating at the bottom. Now, you can always use, and this is, um, this is my fellow librarian, Alma Rayner. You can always use the pin feature. If you hover over the image that's being displayed, you can click on the little thumb tab and it'll make it bigger. But uh, that's how you do it, guys. So on the right, I have the screen that I wanna share. I can always open up more tabs. Remember, I chose a window, so I can go back and forth between multiple tabs. Do you see the Google on your screen? Do you see a split screen or it's just the Google? Perfect. So that's what you guys want. You don't want the students to see the split screen. You want them to focus on the window that you're presenting. And that's it. I hope this helps. Thank you, guys.